Good evening and welcome to this service of evening prayer. This video has subtitles and you can activate those by clicking on CC at the bottom of the picture. Yesterday our Rector Jane talked about coming before God in prayer and worship and holding before him all of those things that might be on our minds. Sometimes it's hard to do that and we wonder if God has heard our prayers at all. One of the things that God asks us to do is to enter into a relationship with him. That means talking to him just like we would any other friend. The difference is that he knows what's on our hearts and sometimes words are unnecessary for him. We can just hold ourselves and others before him in our hearts and he will totally understand us even though we sometimes may not be able to find the right words. We can be with God at any time, in any place, and he will walk with us throughout the day and guard us by night. Part of his relationship with us involves prayer, and that too comes in many forms, holding silence before him so that he can speak to us and we can listen asking him for something in particular, or sending up one of those sudden and urgent prayers that just cries, help. In this way, we can enter into a rhythm of prayer, sometimes being still in his presence, sometimes speaking, sometimes listening. But we're always with him and he is always with us. And we can be in prayer with others and these days that's taken on a completely different form and meaning. God is with us online in all of our prayers and our activities and he hears what we're saying and he hears what's on our hearts. We hope that you will enter into the rhythm of God's word and our praise and thanksgiving to him and that the Holy Spirit will bless you as you pray. Today's order of prayer comes, comes from common worship and it follows a structure. And we're using daily prayer during the Easter season. And it's good to have that structure in our Psalms and our readings so that we can hear what God is saying to us as a community. Often if we follow the lectionary we're going to be using the same readings and the same psalms as millions of other people around the world. And it's a wonderful thing to know that there are others out there joining us in prayer. If you'd like to follow the psalm and the reading today, the psalm is number 100. And the reading is from 1 Peter 2 verses 1 to 10. In our prayers today, we will continue to thank God for his steadfast love that is everlasting. And so before we begin, let's take a moment's silence to ask the Holy Spirit to be with us wherever we may be and to join us together in the presence of God. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be glory and praise for ever. From the deep waters of death, you brought your people to new birth by raising your Son to life in triumph. Through him, dark death has been destroyed and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvellous light, may our lives reflect his glory and our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. that this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, 
let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Psalm number 100, a psalm for giving grateful praise. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth, Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures for ever. His faithfulness continues throughout all generations. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading comes from the first epistle of Peter. Therefore rid yourselves of all malice and all deceit, hypocrisy, envy and slander of every kind. Like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow up in your salvation. Now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. As you come to him, the living stone, rejected by humans, but chosen by God and precious to him, you also, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For in scripture it says, See, I lay a stone in Zion, a chosen and precious cornerstone, and the one who trusts in him will never be put to shame. Now to you who believe this stone is precious, but to those who do not believe, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and a stone that causes people to stumble, and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the message, which is also what they were destined for. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. He has become my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The Gospel Canticle today is the Song of Mary, the Magnificat. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia! My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. 
From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on them that fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in the imagination of his heart, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich empty away. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children for ever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. And so we come to our time of prayer. And we pray today for ourselves that we will be able to enter into a relationship with God that as he walks with us, we walk closer to him, that he hears our prayers, and that we understand what he's saying to us when he answers. And Father, we pray for all of those who feel their prayers are not being answered. Reveal yourself through your Holy Spirit to bring comfort and support. We ask these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful, and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you taught us to love our neighbour and to care for those in need, as if we were caring for you. In this time of anxiety, give us strength to comfort the fearful, to tend the sick, and to assure the isolated of our love and your love. For your name's sake. Merciful God, we entrust to your tender care all those who are ill and in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold them safe, comfort and heal them, and restore them to health and strength, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And in the words of Barbara Glasson, the President of the Methodist Conference, We are not people of fear. We are people of courage. We are not people who protect our own safety. We are people who protect our neighbour's safety. We are not people of greed. We are people of generosity. We are your people, God, giving and loving wherever we are, whatever it costs, for as long as it takes, wherever you call us. Amen. And Father, we ask you to accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, you have overcome death and opened us the gate of everlasting life. Grant that, as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help, 
we may bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so as we come towards the end of our daily prayer, may the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. And may grace and peace be yours in abundance. Amen.